Hello, I'm Vicki LaRoe from Modern Joy Creators. Thank you for selecting this video and joining me today. I am excited to share with you my new Lucite components that I just got in. I have actually carried these uh, off and on in our retail store for years. And they're these little filigree Lucite components. They are made in um, Germany. Actually, they're really beautiful and they come in this black and that's kind of transparent. That's kind of the larger one. And then here's the black and the clear and the smaller. And then there's also a couple little like petal shapes like this. And um, the black are great, they're solid black, but the transparent ones dye really beautifully, like dye different colors. And I've dyed them tons of colors before. It's really fun. So I'm gonna do another video sharing that it's much too hot actually right now to break out the to be over you know steaming um writ dye but i will um share it with you so i'm going to show you some different pieces that i've made and uh some new kits we have available this is just a fun easy earring i love wearing these they're, of course they're super lightweight but i actually think they look really fun and modern and elegant here's a little here's a smaller version I have a little bead. And then here's a similar one. Here's one that's dyed. This is the red. So pretty. Put it maybe against the white so you can see the little cranberry color. This one's a little more um, involved. I did two layers with the bead and back and then the little um, component and crystal in the front. Then the pendants. And here's one of our little filigree star pendants. Isn't she pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. I just love her. That's a pinky one. And there's one. I did a blue and then like an aqua color too. So gorgeous, right? I think they look so romantic. They look so light and um, almost Victorian. They're really fun. So that is one of the styles. And then here's the other one. Right, that's so pretty. That's a little more of a floral pattern. I think it's so lovely. And of course they're super lightweight. And I think all these need is like a um, long chain or a little cord and it's good to go. I love them. So the both of these are available as kits. So I can link them below. Uh, very inexpensive. I hate quoting prices because prices change sometimes. Uh, but currently there are less than $20 uh, to make these gorgeous, you know, kits. This one's a little more involved, um, but I'm going to show you how to make this one right now. So let I'm going to tip the camera. Oh, I wanted to share also besides the components, I um, got these really pretty little vintage findings. Uh, Right, most American castings and, and metal work jewelry components were made in factories on the East Coast, like originally. And these little pieces are like from the 1950s. I mean, look how beautifully they've held their, you know, color and plating and stuff. So I love them. So I'm excited to kind of layer these with the Lucite pieces. And all of them are available um, individually as well. Very inexpensive, like a dollar fifty, dollar sixty, a couple bucks uh, to do whatever, you know, you want to do. Like I said, these little ones that I have uh, as this earring, I mean, it couldn't be easier, right? It's just, I've literally layered a large one, a small one, one of those findings in a crystal. And so we could do many colors. I just did a really um, kind of neutral color here. So I think I'm going to tip the camera down because I can be easier to see what we're doing here. And I'm sorry if you hear the fan, it's just a very hot day. So here's our little star ones, but we're gonna do this one because it's a lot easier. This one's pretty involved. They're pretty simple, but this one has a little more work to it. Okay, so let's do this one. So first we're gonna start with our components. We're going to need three of those, one black and two of these kind of open floral ones. And we just stack them, right? Stack one. And then when I stack this one, I lay it kind of askew, right? So they don't, it's not lined up. It's kind of lined up off centered 
from the patterns. Okay, how pretty. Then we're gonna go through the middle. And this is a little 16 millimeter cap that I flattened out, right? This is the same cap that I just flattened her out. So what I love about these little petals on here is that, you know, besides opening them up, you could also tighten them and they could hug around a bead or something, which I think would be really lovely. But I've flattened them, flattened them down for this and I just use my hands. So that's really gentle. So we don't end up with like any, you know, marks or any breakage or anything like that. Okay, go. I'm gonna start with a head pin and I'm gonna string on little Swarovski bicone crystal. And I've got this little filigree cap, right? And go right there's our cap. I'm gonna string through that flat piece, right? And then we'll go through the middle of our filigree. See, look at her, so pretty. Then I turn it over and I'm gonna cut this head pin. I'm gonna leave about at a half an inch or so. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my round nose pliers. I'm about, about a quarter inch from the on the tip of the plier, but I'm at the very, very tip of the wire, right? I'm holding the back of this and I'm just gonna start to roll and I'm making a little coil. Until it is tight, tight as can be. Boop, boop. And there she be. And if that doesn't feel tight enough, you can get in there, of course, and tighten her up some more. You gotta be careful because you don't wanna break the wire. But that's it. And so the coil, I mean, it does stick up a little. You could flatten it, I guess, but as long as the ends are not sticking up, then, you know, it's good to go. That's what I have in the back of that. See, it's just a little bitty boop. Not sharp. Easy peasy. So she's together. And then all we have to do is put the veil on her. I'm gonna use about a six inch piece, could be a little less of 22 gauge wire. You're gonna find a place for the, where you want the top, there's a little opening there in the filigree that goes all the way, you know, through. So there's, there's a place. So it goes all the way through. I'm gonna put it right in the middle and then I bring these both up and cross them over. So they've crossed right over the top of my three components, right? So they crossed right there, there, right there, there, and everywhere. Okay, push her down. Then I'm gonna take a chain nose pliers and bend one of them straight up. I've got one wire straight up. Then I'm going to wrap the wire that's bent over around my straight wire just a couple times. But if you've done like a tip drill wrap or something before, it's really similar to that. end off. I always use the crimping plier to tweak the end down. All right, now we've got the start of our bail. And I'm just going to use a little, I've got the eight millimeter cap, 10 millimeter crystal. Then another cap. And then I put another little, whoops, bead at the top. 
just because the hole in the caps are kind of um, large and the um, your little wrap could disappear down there. So all my beads are on there. And then I just need to do one more wrap loop at the top. And we want it to go probably in the same, I like to put it in the same direction as the loop you have in the bottom so that we can string through a um, cord or chain. So whatever size you wanna make it. I mean, you know, that one's about four millimeters. That one's a little bit smaller. So it just depends if you're gonna, what you're gonna string it on. You know, if, if you know it's gonna be a chain or a cord. And I'm just gonna bend that over. So I'll make this a little bit larger than I would say a typical, you know, loop for an earring or something. But there's half of my loop. And then finish the wrap. get her in place. There we go. Oh, it could be a little cleaner, but that's okay. And I'm going to cut that little piece of wire off and use my crimp player. And that is it. She's done. Could it be any easier? Look how pretty. That's so gorgeous. And these are just with the like clear and black, right? So I'm gonna, I can't wait to start dyeing some of them and then the variations will just be, you know, endless. I mean, technically these could be a great earring, right? They're super lightweight being the Lucite. Maybe I'll make these in an earring. Okay, let's tip this back up. And then, and then I'm gonna be, that'll be it for you for today. Um, I'll link these all down below. You can check them out on the website. Will this be an earring? Not with that big bead at the top, just the ear wire. So fun. Feels like it should be like, should be in the tropics or something with some very glamorous. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'll leave everything linked below. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And uh, I look forward to seeing you with my next video. And until then, sparkle brightly like the star that you are. Peace.